All right, Fishaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Rich, and uh, today it is a gorgeous October day. We're going to try and get out in the kayak, and I caught some crabs at yesterday evening. We're going to try and put them to good use, send them down near the bottom, and see if we can get on some feisty tatag with some light tackle. And uh, the season just opened like two days ago, and uh, we're going to be leaving Montauk in a few days. So, you know, we've got a great weather window. We're going to take advantage of it and uh, get out on the water. So I'll see you guys there. spot that we'll have to hit today got a three-quarter ounce bottom sweeper jig on and I've got a bunch you know of these green Asian shore crabs and I'm gonna hook on to this little bottom sweeper and drop down around some rocks that hopefully are holding some toggies oh yeah look at that perfect little bite-sized morsel Usually I like to pull the knot back towards the bait before dropping it down so it has a more um, horizontal kind of hanging action there. All right, let's see if anybody's home. And uh, before I forget, uh, huge thanks to Ridge for actually sponsoring today's video. And if you're interested in checking out any of their wallets or gadgets that they have on their site, I'll put a link down in the description as well as a code to uh, save you some money. Well, we're getting a lot of bites, but uh, the same result keeps happening. We're getting stripped clean. So I'm thinking about putting on even a lighter jig head. It's three quarter ounce. Maybe we've got to drop to a half ounce, something even smaller. Oh yeah, that's more toggy. I felt that bite as soon as I felt the first tap. I knew it was gonna be a tog. Oh yeah. Woo, this guy's dogging me. It's a nice one. Oh yeah. Toggy in the net. Check out that one right there. First Toggy the outing and it might be a keeper. I'm gonna throw him on the bump board. Gotta be 16 inches to keep. About 17 and a quarter. Pretty sweet. Cut that bottom sweeper right in the corner of the mouth. All right, half ounce bottom sweeper. Gorgeous fish. All right, pretty sweet. We're on the board. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we can go back up uh, drift and uh, see if we can get three more like that. That'd be so sweet. And uh, it's already. 440, so not a whole lot of filmable fishable daylight left. So I'm hoping we can get a few more and then maybe wrap this up and on the way back see if we have enough daylight uh, where we can throw some top water, maybe get on some stripers. But uh, we shall see. So that last one, I just threaded on one little crab just like that. You know, I tried putting on just one big one, tried loading the crab up or the hook up with a bunch of little ones and just kept getting cleaned off until I guess eventually we put the bait in front of the in front of the right toggy. 
So uh, the setup I'm using before I forget is my 4000 die Worcester Tate paired with the Dark Matter Fishaholic Inshore Series spinning rod. And I'm using a 20 pound floral leader and I believe this is 15 pound green moss power pro braid. Getting bites already. And wow, cleaned off. little baby probably one of the bait stealer culprits right here oh going over some great bottom right there some nice rocky structure come on toggies there he is this might be another keeper Gonna be a close one. Wow, look at that gold color on him. It's gorgeous little toggy. Only 14 and a half. This one pulled. See ya. All right, well, we got another nice one here. 16 and like three quarters. And I don't know what is up with my GoPro, but. I, I stop recording, then I press record again, and uh, for whatever reason, the, uh, the camera just isn't listening to the button commands, so we missed the uh, hook set on this one and the catch, but another keeper on deck. So that's number two. All right, well, pretty sweet. Got a couple decent ones. And going over some great bottom. Just gonna throw another crabby. Let's get back down there. And uh, in case I forgot to mention, really our goal today in this outing is just to have some fun, catch a bunch of toggies, and uh, see if we can catch a limit, but not necessarily see if we can keep a limit, because I've got some fresh sea bass that I caught today in the fridge already. So we'll probably eat that tonight for dinner and possibly lunch and dinner tomorrow. And uh, if we get a keeper at the end of this outing, then we'll possibly, oh my gosh, keep them. Oh my god. The fish is ripping drag. Oh, please stay hooked. It's another good fish. There we go. All right, another decent one. This has got to be a keeper, too. Oh yeah, about 16 and a half. Check that out. Half ounce bottom sweeper. See ya. There's another good one. Whoa, I feel like he doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Oh my gosh, it's a massive trigger fish. What? I gotta put this one in the net, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, you gotta check out the size of this thing. Oh my God, this is the biggest trigger fish I've ever caught. And uh, I actually did catch another one today, but uh, I wasn't recording for it. And it was, I, I thought that one was big and it was probably half the size of this one. Oh my gosh. All right, well, pretty sweet bycatch there. That's a good bite. Oh yeah. 
Not a decent one. Right in the net. All right, let's see how big this guy is. 14. What do we have here? Oh my gosh. Whew. What could this be? Oh, came right up to the surface. Oh my gosh. What could this be? It came right up to the surface. And then just started darting down, rip and drag. Oh my gosh, there's another giant trigger fish. That is crazy. <laughs> Never caught triggers this size here on this spot. It's just awesome. Look at the size of that trigger. Dang, son. Hear that noise? It's kind of cool. Make like a little drumming noise. Pretty cool, but I just want to catch one more nice toggy, and then I think we're gonna start heading back towards the launch. Oh yeah. Whoo! This might be another keep a toggy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, just missed the net. Oh, this one's playing with me. There he is. All right, this is probably gonna be another keeper. We're pretty close to it. Oh yeah, just about 16 inches if you pinch the tail right there. Sweet. Not really the most majestic release, but he swam away strong. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's about it for the bottom fishing. We are working our way back to the launch and uh, we're losing the film with daylight real quick and I'm trying to beeline it uh, as fast as I can to a spot on the way back to the launch where we could possibly throw in a popper and see if we can get on some stripers. So uh, that's what we're gonna do, but this is probably the outro for uh, this vid. And if I catch any stripers, then at the end of this, I will uh, switch it over and show you guys. But uh, sweet little outing, so fun catching those tog on some light tackle. And I'm only fishing for the most part, like 13 to 18 feet of water. So real shallow stuff, perfect to uh, target these fish in the kayak. And uh, how about those trigger fish? That was just such a sweet bycatch. And I was very close to keeping that last one, but they're such, just such a cool big fish, especially when they get that, get that size that uh, I almost felt bad about keeping it. And uh, it just make my life a whole lot easier not having to clean a fish at the end of today's outing. And especially since I've got a fridge full of fresh sea bass, that's gonna be uh, tonight's dinner and I can't wait to uh, dice that up and just go to town on that once we get back. But uh, all in all, great outing. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button, the like button to stay tuned. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.